Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Serenity BDD series. And I'm pretty much sure that, okay, you are loving this particular series and loving this particular tool. So far, what we have seen, guys, that we have created one simple test class, page class, a step class, and then we have executed one single test case on a specific browser. Today, we are going to learn about how to manage your browser, how to manage on which browser that you want to execute, either it is Chrome, Safari or Firefox, whatever, how to mention that, where to mention that. Serenity provides multiple features for that. Serenity says that, first of all, you can manage with your uh, driver, manage driver equal to Chrome. If you are maintaining something like this over here, it means it will start executing your test cases on Google Chrome. For example, if I run this particular test now, Gradle test, you see that my Chrome browser will be running now. You can see Chrome is running. Perfect. Let me just terminate that simple press control C. I don't want to execute the complete cycle. If you maintain any Firefox, it will start maintaining on executing on Firefox. The only thing is that if you don't mention anything by default browser, it will take that is Firefox. So uh, let's see that. So if I don't mention anything and I simple write Gradle test once again, it should pick Firefox so my Firefox should be launched you can see that my Firefox is getting launched but this is not always the right practice that you are maintaining a driver equal to Chrome something like this for that purpose it says that okay if you really want to define some global configuration or global properties for serenity what you can do is that at the project level you create a file over here and the file name is serenity dot properties file you can mention that click on finish and here you can maintain one property that is called web driver dot a driver on which browser you want to execute that so let's say if i write chrome over here and then you don't need to create any properties class object or file input stream class object to read this property serenity will take care of it automatically internally we just need to mention this property and that's it so what i'm going to do i'm going to run it once again gradle test Whatever the browser value that I have written, it should execute on the specific browser. I have written Chrome. See, it's running on Google Chrome. Let me just terminate it. Press Control C so that it will terminate. Let's cross check with Firefox as well. So I simply write Firefox and uh, it will start running on Firefox as well. So I simply write Gradle test and it should pick Firefox. So you can see Firefox is getting executed. So this is a better way of maintaining it. Let me check with Safari as well. I have Safari in my Mac machine and I simply write Safari. It should execute your test cases on Safari browser. So now if I write Safari, it should pick Safari browser. Let's see. See, it's running actually on Safari. This is my Safari browser. You can see it over here. Let me just terminate that. I don't want to execute completely. It will take time. This is one of the property guys that you can use that. There is one more property. If you really want to give a project name, that will be reflected in your uh, HTML report. What you can do is you can give serenity dot project dot name. What is the project name that you want to give a nice project name? So let's see, I simply write Naveen Automation Labs, something like this. Let's see, this is a project name that I have a uh, given. So the same project name will be reflected on the report on the HTML report. Now, this is a one way of uh, doing that. Let's say I don't want to use this. You can comment it out this particular property there is one more option that is another better option uh, serenity provide that is called in the form of configuration file it means they will tell you that you can create one uh, serenity.conf file you can create that but for that what you have to do you have to go to your src test resources folder guys you have to do that so right click on it and create a new file over here under your src test resources remember this thing and then which file that you have to create simple write serenity.conf file configuration file that you have to create that and here you simple write a web driver which is starting bracket ending bracket like that and here you mention your property name that is a driver equal to chrome so here driver equal to chrome means i want to execute my test cases on the chrome browser so what i'm going to do from the serenity.properties i have already commented out and let's see it is running the test cases on the given browser over here so i simply write the gradle test once again and i should pick the test cases from chrome browser you can see chrome is getting executed perfect let me just control c terminate the program 
So likewise, you can give it from here as well. You can write for Firefox and Safari as well over here. Now, other than that, what else you can do in this particular file? Might be possible that you want to, let's see, execute um, on the specific binary you want to use that. Right now, I'm not mentioning any uh, binary.exe file, right? Chrome driver.exe or geeko driver.exe. What if you want to use a specific uh, Chrome driver.exe? So in that case, what you can do is either you come over here or in the serenity.properties also you can uh, mention that. So what you have to do, uh, just use these three properties. Let me I just directly copy paste over here like this. The driver.windows.webdriver.chrome.driver. This is the property name. This is the key and the value will be what? The path of the Chrome driver.exe. So what you can do under your SRC test resources, you can create one web driver uh, directory and under that might be possible you want to execute your test cases on Windows machine, on Mac machine or on the Linux machine, you can do that. So what exactly I'm gonna do, I'll go to my SRC test resources, right click on it, go to new and create a new uh, directory over here. A directory or folder, both are same thing. Let's see directory name is web driver. And under this particular web driver directory, I'm going to create one, one more directory that is called for Windows machine. So it means because on Windows.exe file that you have to maintain. So it got created. And under the same resources, I'm going to create one more directory that is called a web driver slash for Mac. So under web driver, Mac got created, Windows got created, and let's say you want to execute on Linux machine as well. So right click on it and go to new and create another directory that is for Linux. And then what you do, you simply maintain all these .exe file that you have to download from the Google and uh, simple maintain your .exe files over here. So I'm not going to download that. You can do it by your own. If you want a specific .exe file, you can maintain over here under Linux specific, Mac specific and the Windows specific, right? That binary file you can maintain over here. This is the first way of doing it that under serenity.properties you can mention that. If you really want to maintain all the things under serenity.conf, that also you can do it. So here what you have to do, you have to create, first of all that, at the drivers you have to create, these are my drivers that I want to maintain, the starting bracket and ending bracket. And then you can create different section, let's say this is for Windows section. And then you simply write that what is the property name? My property name is webdriver.chrome.driver. And what exactly the path? So the path, whatever that we have given over here, let me just copy paste the same path. So either you use a dot properties configuration or you use serenity.conf configuration, you can do that. So likewise, guys, you can maintain three sections over here. One is for Windows, Mac, and Linux. So I simple write, let's say this is for, uh, I'll write it over here like this. This is for, let's see, I'm writing for Mac and this is for, for the Linux machine. So webdriver.chrome.driver and uh, instead of Windows, I'll be writing Mac over here. And here on the basis of instead of Windows, I'll be writing Linux. And then on Mac machine, we don't use .exe file and uh, same thing on Linux machine also, we don't use .exe file. So that exe file guys, I'm not going to download. You guys can download and you can maintain over here. So either you maintain under your uh, serenity.conf or you maintain over here, both are same thing. So you have to pick either of them. So both the configurations provided by these guys. So remember this thing, you can maintain all the executables under the SRC test resources and pick either configuration like that or serenity.conf also you can create your directories like this also you can do that. So simple, right, proper, properly like this, you can do that. So I'm maintaining both the things. I'll push the code into the repository and then you please have a look. And then please pause the video and men mention these directories, download Chrome driver.exe and try to run. And let's see it is running or not. So just let me know. I'm not going to do it because unnecessary. I have to download and then, then it should work. Okay, that you can do it by your own. Now I'll go back to my serenity.properties. And uh, let me just, I'll do one thing. Let me just comment it out all these guys. And in the serenity.properties, I'll uh, uncomment this web driver equal to a driver equal to Safari or let's say I want to execute on Google Chrome. Now, if you 
mention one thing that uh, notice one thing the default URL also we have used. So default URL means when you write open method. Remember this method login page a test method and then we have created this is login page is on login page and login page dot open method will pick automatically whatever the test uh, whatever the at the default URL parameter that we have passed right. So we have passed this particular at the default URL. If you don't want to use it like this, you can simple. Let me just uh, put a comment over here. You can again go to your serenity dot properties and you can mention your URL as well. So you can mention your base URL. So let's see my base URL will be web driver your application URL www.google.com amazon.com whatever. So this is my base URL base dot URL which is equal to whatever the URL property. So let's and your if you're writing google.com you can simply write www.google.com or whatever so these are the properties guys running on chrome and running on this particular base url i want to execute that you don't need to mention the default url like that it looks slightly noisy or ugly that we don't mention like that so i'm going to comment it out now let's test it it is actually working or not so my configurations are like that okay i don't want to use this annotation the url should be picked from serenity dot properties so let's run it simple write a gradle test once again and let's see it is picking on google chrome with base url is equal to this perfect see chrome and the base url is this so like this guys you can easily configure you don't need to write any other extra code for that and your tests are absolutely working fine over here like this build is successful absolutely working fine so like this you guys can do that Okay, so I have already commented out these things and uh, in Serenity conf also we just let it be like that if you really want to use the specific driver then only you maintain that otherwise you can delete this particular file. You can mention everything inside this dot properties file you can mention that I would advise you to use properties file instead of configuration file that is the better approach here only one liner key value pair format and their specific path you can give it over here. Okay so that's all for this particular video please try this out and let me know if you have any issues and uh, please subscribe to the channel press the bell icon to get the notification for the next video until then take care god bless you all